In this lesson, you will learn how to solve two-step equations. These are equations that take just two steps to solve. The first step is to isolate the variable term, that is the part with the variable. Once we isolate the variable term, the second step is to isolate the variable itself, and that is our goal. To complete these steps, we will use opposite operations. Let's see this in action with our examples. First, we isolate 3x. That is the variable term in this example. Notice that 4 is being subtracted from 3x. So, to isolate 3x, we do the opposite of subtraction. We add 4, and we add to both sides to keep the equation balanced. Whatever operation you do to one side, you must also do to the other side. Now, on the left side, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. They cancel each other out. This leaves 3x alone. On the right, 11 plus 4 is 15, right? Now the variable term is isolated, that is step 1. The second step is to isolate the variable itself. Remember, that's our main goal. Notice that x is being multiplied by 3. So to get x by itself, we do the opposite of multiplication. We divide by 3, and we divide both sides to keep our equation balanced. Now on the left, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so the 3's cancel out. This leaves x by itself. On the right, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the solution to this equation is x equals 5. To check our solution, we plug in 5 for x in the original equation and simplify. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 4 is 11, right? As you can see, both sides of the equation are equal, confirming that 5 is indeed the solution. Try this one. First, isolate the variable term. Notice that 6 is being added to 2m. So to isolate 2m, we do the opposite of addition. We subtract 6. And of course we subtract from both sides to keep the equation balanced. Now on the left, 6 minus 6 is 0. They cancel out, leaving just 2m. What is negative 10 minus 6? That is right, negative 16. Next, divide both sides by 2 to isolate m. On the left, the 2's cancel out, leaving m by itself. On the right, we get negative 8. So the solution is m equals negative 8. To double check, plug in negative 8 for m in the original equation and simplify. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. And negative 16 plus 6 is negative 10. Both sides match, so our solution is correct. Great. Now, what if the variable is on the right side? That is okay. It doesn't matter which side the variable is on. We solve it exactly the same way. First, isolate negative 5p by adding 1 to both sides. On the right, negative 1 plus 1 cancel out, leaving negative 5p. On the left, 14 plus 1 is 15. Next, get p by itself by dividing both sides by negative 5. On the right, the negative 5's cancel out, leaving p. On the left, 15 divided by negative 5 gives us negative 3, right? So the solution is p equals negative 3. And by the way, you can always write the variable first if you like. No problem at all. To make sure it checks out, plug in negative 3 for p in the original equation and simplify. On the right, negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15, right? And 15 minus 1 is 14. Perfect, it checks out. Nice. Go ahead and give this one a try. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you found this video helpful so far. You might notice that the variable is not first, but that's totally fine. 3 minus n is the same as negative n plus 3, just written in a different order. Now you can clearly see that 3 is being added to negative n. So first, isolate negative n by subtracting 3 from both sides. On the right, the 3's cancel out, leaving negative n. On the left, negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10, right? When there is a negative sign in front of a variable, it means the variable is being multiplied by negative 1. Here, negative n is the same as negative 1 times n. So to get n by itself, divide both sides by negative 1. On the right, the negative ones cancel out, leaving just n. 
On the left, negative 10 divided by negative 1 is 10. So the solution is n equals 10. To check, plug in 10 for n in the original equation and simplify. 3 minus 10 is negative 7, right? It checks out, so we are correct. Nice! Now what if the variable is being divided by a number, like a over 2? What should we do? Don't worry, the goal is still the same, to isolate the variable using the opposite operation. First, isolate a over 2 by subtracting 9 from both sides. On the left, the 9s cancel out, leaving a over 2. On the right, 13 minus 9 is 4. Now notice that a is being divided by 2. So to get a by itself, we do the opposite of division. We multiply by 2, and we multiply both sides to keep the equation balanced. On the left, the 2s cancel out, leaving us with a. On the right, 4 times 2 is 8. So the solution is a equals 8. Let's check. Plug in 8 for a in the original equation and simplify. 8 divided by 2 is 4, right? And 4 plus 9 is 13. That matches the right side, so our solution is correct. Great! Give it a shot this one. By the way, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to help you out. First, isolate the variable term by adding 1 to both sides. On the right, negative 1 plus 1 cancel out. This leaves negative k over 5. On the left, we get 20, right? Now, here is something important to notice. Negative k over 5 is the same as k over negative 5. The negative sign can go with the numerator, the denominator, or out front. They all mean the same thing. Now isolate k by multiplying both sides by negative 5. On the right, the negative 5s cancel out, leaving k by itself. On the left, negative 5 times 20 is negative 100, right? So, the solution is k equals negative 100. I will leave the checking for you. Just plug in negative 100 for k in the original equation and simplify. We are almost done. Let's try one where the variable has a fraction as its coefficient. First, isolate 2 thirds y by subtracting 6 from both sides. On the left, the 6s cancel out, leaving 2 thirds y. On the right, 14 minus 6 is 8. Now, to get y by itself, we could divide both sides by 2 thirds, but that would complicate the calculation. Instead, we multiply by the reciprocal of 2 thirds. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, you just flip it. So the reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 halves. Now multiply both sides by 3 halves. Remember, the product of a fraction and its reciprocal is always 1. So on the left, the fractions cancel out, leaving y by itself. On the right, 8 and 2 reduce to 4, right? Then 4 times 3 is 12. Therefore, the solution is y equals 12. Let's make sure it checks out. Plug in 12 for y in the original equation. 12 and 3 reduce to 4. And 2 times 4 is 8, right? 8 plus 6 is 14. And that matches the right side, so we are correct. Great! Here's one last example. This time, the entire expression with the variable is being divided. But don't worry, the goal is still the same, to get the variable by itself. First, isolate the entire expression with the variable, that is u minus 7. Since it is being divided by 3, we do the opposite of division. We multiply by 3, and of course, we multiply both sides to keep the equation balanced. On the left, the threes cancel out, leaving u minus 7. On the right, 10 times 3 is 30. Now you just need to isolate u by adding 7 to both sides. On the left, negative 7 plus 7 cancel out, leaving u by itself. On the right, 30 plus 7 is 37. So the solution is u equals 37. Let's check. Plug in 37 for u in the original equation. 37 minus 7 is 30 and 30 divided by 3 is 10, and that matches the right side. Perfect! Now, to learn how to solve multi-step equations, click on the video on the screen. You can also find the link in the description or the first comment. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.